Hello there, welcome to video number five of my Invisalign diary. And this isn't so much about me, but uh, there was uh, someone who left a comment just now. Uh, their name is uh, Niels Dell. Uh, I'm sorry if I've not pronounced your name correctly, but um, uh, yeah, this chap's from Belgium and he says that he's uh, having some difficulty with his first week and that it's very painful when he eats. Um, I think I might know what the problem is. Uh, I find that I have to take my my trays out to eat three times a day. So breakfast, lunch and dinner. Then they're out for about, I suppose, 25 minutes in the morning, maybe uh, half an hour at lunch and then 45 minutes in the evening. So there's definitely in my mouth for 22 hours and more. Uh, but that means then that I'm not causing uh, sort of friction in my in my teeth because if you keep taking them out, it's going to keep pulling against your teeth and there's definitely a knack to taking them out properly. So if you're not taking out your trays properly, it's actually really going to hurt. Uh, when I started out, I did find that it was bleeding between my two front teeth because I was pulling it out just from one side. And because it's gripping your teeth so much, it's pushing on them as, as you pull and it starts to pull the tooth loose. And that's why it's going to hurt so much and it's going to be really wobbly. Um, it's not a good thing. What you want is for your teeth to actually move to where they're meant to be and then grip in their new position. You know, the bone's got to actually uh, change to, to keep the tooth in place until the next two weeks. So the way that I'm doing it at the moment, I find that uh, it takes about four to five days for my teeth to move properly. And then, then they're good. I mean, these this tray eight went in on Friday and it's now Tuesday. Um, and it's, it's fine now, you know, I'm gonna push on it. it, doesn't feel loose, doesn't feel hard or anything. Um, and I think it's because I've worked out a way of taking them off. And I must admit, I did get this, uh, this tip off another YouTuber, but it works for me and I've got my own slight variation on her technique. Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, this is gonna be gross with all the saliva, but I'm gonna show you how I take my trays out now, now that I've got the um, the things on them. Uh, just checking the time, because my my uh, neighbours don't like to be too noisy after 10 o'clock, so I don't think they can hear me talk. Uh, yeah, because I've got attachments on now, so it's harder to get them off. I thought I had it all sorted out. But what you do is you get the back and you unhook it from your mouth and push it towards your cheek. Then you do the same on the other side, unhook it from the back, push it towards your cheek, so they're both out like that. And then I find you can grab it about here and then just pull it away and just take it off firmly. Yeah, and, and then uh, it's done. So you're not, not constantly pulling at it and pulling on your teeth because it's just going to cause trouble and you're just going to cause yourself pain. So here's how it goes. Off the back. Off. So that was fine. It didn't hurt in the slightest. It's not bleeding. You see? And um, it's the same at the bottom as well. Um, I'll just put these back in, hang on. Yeah. So same with the bottom ones. Unhook. Yeah. And then it just pulls off. Just pulls off like that. Uh, because these two stick out so much, um, that's why I have to do it both sides, but I find it hurts less, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I find that uh, I use the chewy, the chewy things uh, when I've got a new set of trays and the first few times I put them in I use the chewy but then I find, might not be exactly the right way to do it but I find uh, I can just use my hands and pull push nice and hard and then it all fits on perfectly so as you can see it's a really good fit just like that. So it's as simple as that. Um, do that every time you eat, but only eat three times a day. Now, you've got to make sure that you eat properly at meal times, yeah, because you've got to get, I mean, I'm not a dietitian, but I think it's something like 2,500 calories or something if a fully grown male wants to maintain their weight. I, I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. <laughs> it's not gonna tell me the answers. Um, but yeah, if you if you do that, uh, check how many calories you're meant to be burning and then work out if you're getting enough at meal times. It, fortunately, it probably means you can have some dessert with your food. Uh, so have something soft, but then 
make sure that you brush your teeth properly and get them off and then put these back on just three times a day because the more you take it out the more you're going to pull at your teeth and the more they're going to hurt uh, and this way uh, your teeth should take and feel nice and strong and sturdy after about five days and I really hope that helps you uh, that's how I've been doing it um, it was definitely harder when I got the attachments because I thought I had it all figured out and I really didn't um, but that's how I do it so I hope that helped and uh, let me know how you get on thanks for watching take care